Welcome, everybody. My name is Professor Brian Keating, and I'm the proprietor of the Dr. Brian Keating Into the Impossible podcast and YouTube channel. So we're going to be doing this every so often, Impossible Questions segment, and I hope you'll enjoy it, and you'll send in questions to the Instagram and or Facebook group, Drinking Bros Nerds, and other uh, sessions that we can uh, access. And I will read the questions on a probably quarterly basis, and we'll hopefully get some really stimulating answers and questions back and forth. Next question comes from Mr. Abal, and he asks, what is the likelihood that if life developed on a planet similar to Earth, that that life should develop a recognizable pattern to life on Earth? So that's a good question. It's really talking about astrobiology, the uh, study of life outside of our planet. I've done a lot of uh, talks on my podcast, on Dr. Brian Keating on YouTube, about aliens and detecting alien atmospheres, and even detecting the technological imprint of civilizations via our first form of technology on Earth, which was agriculture. That's a form of technology. And uh, when, you, uh, when you are able to harness the power of biology to revolutionize, to revamp the chemistry and the atmosphere and the properties of a planet's surface, that in principle could be detectable from distant places within the universe. In other words, we could detect the pattern of life and life-forming uh, byproducts of life on another planet by looking for kind of these biosignatures, which in turn could be technosignatures. Uh, we developed, you know, cattle farming and, and ranching and burning of huge uh, forests, et cetera, thousands of years ago. And that could, in principle, be visible to an, to an alien civilization many, many light years away from the Earth. So that would be a type of way that you could recognize it. And the pattern of life, we don't know exactly how life emerged on Earth, let alone how else it could emerge in the universe. So for that reason, we can only speculate from a sample of one. It's quite dangerous. But, um, but you could expect that there'd be great consequences to sending actual other types of life forms throughout the universe. And so some people speculate, among others, folks like Max Tegmark, professor at MIT, that perhaps the life that's going around the universe is not biological carbon-based, but it's silicon-based. It's an artificial intelligence, effectively. So that may or may not be recognizable uh, to, uh, to us, um, and it might not be even similar to what we consider to be life here. Uh, many scientists believe that life requires liquid water, which places the planet within a certain zone called the habitable zone around um, our star or a similar star. So I think that that's uh, a quite a good question, and we have to only extrapolate from the sample of one amidst the perhaps 100 billion planets in our, sol in our, in our galaxy alone on which life could potentially form, a rocky planet not too far, not too close to the sun that it orbits. So for those reasons, uh, it's, it's a dangerous, perilous thing to try to speculate. Nevertheless, it's fun to talk about how you could detect and what that life would be like. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this episode of Impossible Answers with yours truly, Dr. Brian Keating, Chancellor's Distinguished Professor of Physics and co-director of the Arthur C. Clarke Center for Human Imagination at the University of California, San Diego. Check me out on my YouTube channel, Dr. Brian Keating. Subscribe to my podcast, the Into the Impossible podcast. Please leave ratings, reviews, and all that. That really helps me out. And we'll do more of these, hopefully like once a quarter, we'll compile your questions and I'll hopefully give you some answers to impossible questions. For now, signing off and thanking you very much for being a part of my multiverse. This is yours truly, Professor Brian Keating.